Hi everyone, welcome to the Scratch Junior online course. Before we begin, we need to install Scratch Junior on our computers. I've got mine installed, but you can do it on your own and I'll show you how it's done. Open the Google Play Market and search for the Scratch Junior application in the search bar. Press the install button and press open once the download has completed. Once you have opened the application, press the home button to start a new project. As you can see, I already have some projects started, whereas you will have a blank page. Once you press the plus sign in the left corner over here, you will begin working on a new project. Let's see what our application has to offer. In the center, we can see a white background. This is where our project will take place. We can also full screen our white background. This will allow us to view our project more clearly. At the moment, we only have one character, also known as a sprite, on our background in our project. On the left over here, we can see the list of characters that are on our project at the moment. By pressing the plus sign, we can add more sprites to our project. And on the right, we can see the backgrounds that are in our project at the moment. We can have several backgrounds at the same time on the same project. It's like different scenes in one cartoon. We can have different scenes in the same cartoon. Each scene represents a different action that takes place in our project. Over here, we have several different buttons. Each one of them provides a different action. This button over here full screens our project. We can also call this the presentation mode, where we can view our project once it's ready. By pressing the button in the top left corner, we return to our workstation where we can make changes to our project. Our next button installs a grid on our background. This helps us understand where exactly our sprite is located in our project. The third button on our workstation allows us to choose our background. As you can see, we have various backgrounds to choose from. Let's try picking the first one, which is the farm. Click the background and press the tick button on the top right corner. And now we've got our kitten on the farm. The next button that has the letters A, B, and C on it, allows us to make signs on our background. This would come in handy when you want to label your project, or you want to title it, or you're making a postcard for a friend. It doesn't have to necessarily be a postcard. You can let your imagination run wild. You can press on the letters again to change the stuff you want to write, or remove it completely. It's up to you. The blue button over here moves all your characters into place, and I'm going to teach you how to use it in more detail in the next lesson. When you want to check out what you've managed to complete, you can press the green flag over here to play your project. And now, let's learn how to change the color of our character. We have our cat over here, and if we move our cursor to the left, we can select our sprite, and if we click the paintbrush, we can pick the color we want to change it to. We can see that we've opened the graphic editor of our sprite. And on the top here, we can change the label of our sprite. To change the color of our sprite, we have to pick the bucket tool over here on the right. Let's select the gray color, for example. And now we can go ahead and change the color of our cat by selecting and clicking all the areas of the cat that we would like to change. Now, go ahead and try and change the color of the cat on your own. After you've changed the color of your cat, you have to press the tick button on the top right corner over here. We can see that we have successfully changed the appearance of our cat. Now, if we'd like to add a new character, we can press the plus sign over here. 
Go ahead and press the paintbrush to start drawing a new character. On the left, we have tools. For example, the straight line tool. At the moment, we have the gray color selected. That is why our line is gray in color. But we can go ahead and change it to any color that we like. We can also change the size of our brush over here. Our next instrument allows us to draw circles, straight ones, and both oval ones. With our next instrument, we can draw squares. Let's change our color to red. We can draw a perfect square, and if you like, we can spread it out and call it a rectangle. And with this tool, let's draw a blue triangle. Let's make that two triangles. Go ahead and try drawing something on your own. Try thinking of a new sprite to draw, and not just simply doodling like I did on the screen. If you think that you've made a mistake, you can use the undo instrument over here on the top left corner. You can keep pressing the undo button to reverse all the changes that you've made to your painting. You can even completely reverse all your changes to a blank project. And if you've changed your mind about your changes, you can press the arrow over here to reverse it back, like so. Some other interesting instruments, such as the arrow over here, allows us to move the objects on our project, like so. For example, if you've drawn something in the wrong place, you can grab the object and drag it around like this. The next button allows us to rotate our objects. For example, flipping it upside down like this. It even starts to look like a mustache if we flip it upside down like this. Let's give him a pair of eyes as well. And we have our own little gentleman. The next really important instrument that we have in our toolbar is the clone stamp tool. By selecting the stamp tool, if we press on our object, it makes an identical copy of what we've drawn. We can make two and three copies if we like. By selecting the scissors, we can delete some of the objects that we've drawn. We can even clear our whole screen like that. The camera tool allows you to take pictures from your computer camera and then insert the images that you've taken onto the screen. Go ahead and try and experiment with the camera tool yourself. After you're done drawing your new objects or characters, you have to press the tick button on the top right corner over there. And there you go. Your new objects slash characters are in the background of your project. I've managed to draw a little window for a cat. Well, since we've already drawn a window, we might as well go ahead and draw a whole house. Press the plus sign. Click the paintbrush, and let's make our house brown in color by selecting the brown color over here. The frame of our house is empty, just like our window. But we're going to paint it in with our bucket tool over here. And by clicking the center over here, we can fill it in with the color brown. Now, let's give our house a roof. We can select the triangle tool over here, and let's make it green in color. We'll make our roof out of two triangles. We can use the arrow tool to move the position of our second triangle a little to the left, as so. Use the square tool to draw the centerpiece of your roof. Center it, and move them around a little bit.
Let's make our second triangle a little smaller so that it fits into the lines. We can use the select tool to move the center frame of our house and place it in the center of our roof. There we go. Now it looks a little straighter. Remember, if you've made a mistake, you can use the undo tool to reverse it. Now, to save the project that we've made, we have to go ahead and press the tick button on the top right corner over here. And there we go. We've got our house on our background. Now we can place it over here. And we can also use our window that we've drawn previously and place it on the house. All right, guys, it's time for some homework. Launch the Scratch Junior application. Press the plus sign to start a new project. Go ahead and change the color of your cat on your own. And press the plus sign over here. And try adding some new characters to your project. Try drawing a small character. And then try drawing a small house as well. Draw the sun and the moon as well. Try making it as pretty as possible. Take a picture of what you've managed to draw and send it over to me.